So here we are in episode 2 of the Speedy B B35 build series and in this video I'll be installing the O3 air unit and the special heatsink aluminium base plate that came with it, the frame. But if you've just stumbled into this video and not sure what this series is all about, I'll put a card up here on the screen so that you can see the intro video. But if uh, you want to see the rest of the videos as well for this series, you can go down into the description and I'll put the playlist link down there as well. So I'll be going through and putting the O3 air unit all in here into the frame and uh, I'll show you how each of the pieces go, all the screws and everything. So I'm Namfam, let's get into it. Alright, so before I get into the actual installation of the O3 air unit into the frame, I just wanted to acknowledge a mistake that I did in the last video where I installed the wrong stack screws. So the stack screws that I used were the ones that came from this packet here and this one came from the flight stack itself. So it came with the ESC and the flight controller, but the ones that actually come with the frame actually fit a lot better. And the reason is because it's actually much shorter so you can see it here, it is about maybe two millimeters shorter. I haven't measured it perfectly, but it's about two or three. And that's important because the O3 air unit, as you can see here, I'm trying to install it just to try it out. And it's currently hitting the stack screws that came with the flight controller instead of the one that came with the frame. So don't make my mistake. I just wanted to let it, everyone know out there while they're walking through this build so that they don't fall into the same problem that I just had. Anyhow, with that out of the way, we'll get onto the build. All right, so the first thing that I'll be doing is taking the O3A unit, and this is basically how it comes out of the, the packaging. And you're gonna have to get the harness here, the wire harness that came with the frame. Uh, actually, sorry, I think it came with the flight controller. And this will plug straight into the DJI O3 air unit on this plug here. And that's basically the power and also the TX and RX and S bus as well. We might not need the S bus, but for now I'm just going to plug this in and then we can wire it up later to the flight controller. So this can only go in one way and it should fit quite nice and snug in here. Okay, so now once that's in, you're going to have to put it into this aluminium base plate, but I think the instructions, and I've got the instructions here. All right, so I've got the instructions here, but I'll put it up on the screen in the corner so it's easier for you, for you to see. But I'll go through that. And I believe it says here that to put the first install, the aluminium alloy at the bottom position. So I'm going to put that in, but I think I would like to put in this little plate here on top of it so I think it's installed this way and in the instructions it uses the M2 three millimeter screws so I'm gonna put that in now All right that little plate is now secured there and the next thing is basically the O3 air unit can go in actually no I won't go in I keep wanting to put that in but it, uh, the instructions say to put the aluminium into the frame first so it's going to go on the bottom side of the frame so if this is the top here I believe it sits underneath this way and I, I think that the way I see it in the instructions is basically these two holes here pointing to the front side of the frame so it's going to sit in here like this I'll just put this down for now because the other thing that we'll need is the M3 by 15 uh, standoffs and they're in here so I'm just going to be putting them into these holes here and then using the screws for for bottom protective ring it calls it and it's M3 14 millimeter so I'll be pulling these out and securing that together with the bottom plate and the frame All right, so out of the four that need to go in, the standoffs, there's one that's at the back that actually is a bit loose. So I'll put that one in last, and I'll put the other three in first, just since they're already sitting inside the frame. And maybe I won't tip it all the way over because they're all going to fall out. But I'll put this one in here. And I'll need a driver. So it's one of them. 
it's a bit hard actually to actually hold them in and screw them because while I'm screwing them the standoffs inside this frame actually is spinning so I'm pressing up against it on the other side with my finger just to give it a bit of friction and so that it actually starts to screw in and tighten so that's probably not going to hold it tight enough but once we do have the other side screwed in which is part of the actual carbon fiber frame I believe and the M3 screws to come down from the top it should then be easier to screw them in tighter so for now I think that's going to hold quite nicely for those three and I'll be putting in the last one at the back all right so we have the aluminium base plate in and the O3 air unit can go inside now it's going to be a bit difficult to start screwing things in but I believe it goes in this way in the USB-C port comes out this the hole on this side here where that other small plate was so I'll be putting that in this way and making sure I don't pinch any of these wires so I'll be getting it in like that and then this nifty little yellow brace will sit on top going over it like this screwing into the the base plate there the aluminium base plate with m2 six millimeter screws it says for DJI 03 TPU, so I'll pull, pull them out and I'll screw them in. Alright, so I've got the 03 air unit in now, but I've just realized something as part of the instructions I should have seen is that it needs you to put in this ring, this yellow ring for the antenna first, and this is going to secure it later when it fits over the back TPU. So I'm going to have to take off the brace again just release it on this side here probably take it one side off remove the screws take the antenna off put in this ring and then re-secure everything again okay so I've got the antenna out and I've got the ring here so I'll fit this on and now I can just put it all back together all right so now that the O3A unit is in with the antenna and also the TPU ring there the back of it has this piece which actually has a USB-C extension that allows it to connect to the flight controller and it's a nifty little thing that they put into this frame and I think the attention to detail to allow you to do that is really good because once you button everything up it's really hard to get to the USB port of the flight controller so this allows you to extend it out from inside the frame uh, using adapters like this one here so this will plug into this and can go into the flight controller if you're using a USB I think this is a micro USB and then here is a USB-C so it allows for any flight controller of those sorts to be able to still have access to it in beta flight and configuring everything as well so basically this goes and sits on the back here just where the antenna is like so and I'm just going to leave it there. Um, the antenna will then have to slip into here. Might be easier if I actually put the antenna on first and then slip it down onto the standoff. So I'll do that now. All right, it was a bit finicky to get that in there, but eventually I got there. Just a bit of fiddling around with getting the antenna uh, cable into the slot there and then wiring this around it so that make sure that it's not getting crimped anywhere. But now this is ready so that we can uh, put the the carbon fiber and the all the electronics on there. But I might go in and I may as well put into the, the camera as well. I might as well mount it on here. So I'll grab the pieces for that now. All right, so the pieces are here. I've got the aluminium side plates for the camera and I have the silicon pieces as well. So they do come with these TPU ones, which seem to be black for 19 millimeter wide cameras, but the O3 air unit is 20 millimeter. So I'll be using the yellow silicon one. And I believe it also gives it that dampening effect to avoid any of that jello that comes through the uh, video. So I'll start to put these together and you'll see how that fits all together. Right, so it was hard to work this out, but eventually you'll get there. But the, the silicon pieces 
have these little notches that come out and then inside the aluminium pieces it has the notches for it to go in so they basically fit in like that and from the pictures it looks like this curved piece is actually sitting on top so I believe it goes in like that and on the other side it fits in like this so the two pieces will be sitting like this with the camera in between so I'll mount that on right now I've just seen in the back of the image there it has a M2.5 20 millimeter aluminium standoff so I believe it's in here M2.5 20 millimeter so I'll pull that out and that goes between the two plates so just putting these up again I think it goes like that like that the aluminium standoff will be sitting at the back here like this bracing them together and I think it gives it a bit more rigidity in the frame and the camera as well so I think I'll have to get the M2.5 8mm button screws out okay to mount the camera it is the M2 6mm screws so they'll be going in here on the sides securing the camera Okay, so the camera is on the little aluminium frame now and I'll just have to screw it to the whip guard frame, the whole frame, with the M3 14mm screws and I'll do that now. Alright, so there we have it, the O3A unit is now installed with the antenna and the bracket, bracket mount at the back here and also the camera as well. So basically that's the O3 air unit in and I'll be doing some of the soldering of the O3 later in the other episodes and um, I think the next one I'll be going through would be the receiver so I'll be putting the Happy Model EP2 receiver into this, installing it, soldering it up to this. I'm not sure where it's gonna go yet, I've got to figure that out somewhere in here and I'll probably zip tie it somewhere. Uh, but yeah, you'll see that in the next video. So I hope uh, this helped someone out there because I wasn't sure how this all went together. I had to fiddle with it. it took a bit longer than I expected, but I got there in the end. So I hope uh, this helped someone. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, followed through. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.